Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Borenstein, the editor of Psychiatric News, and I'm here with Dr. Jeff Lieberman, the president-elect about to become the president of the APA. Jeff, welcome. Thanks very much, Jeff. Good to be here with you. I want to ask you about what are your goals for your presidential year? Well, I'm really excited about this opportunity for me as an individual and a psychiatrist, but also for the APA uh, in order to really, I think, lead our profession forward into what hopefully will be a, kind of a, an unprecedented age of opportunity to practice psychiatric medicine, provide mental health care, and to really help people with mental illness more effectively than ever before in history. Um, the reason I think we can do that is because our profession is strong, there's great science that's moving us forward with the advances, um, the DSM is being launched, uh, and also there's a greater awareness, I think, in our country about the importance of mental illness in terms of affecting people's lives as well as being a driver in the economy. So, in this context, uh, what I'm hoping to achieve in the months going forward is first to kind of continue a couple of initiatives that have been ongoing and need to be sustained. Uh, one is the launch of the DSM-5, which uh, at this meeting is being launched. and. Uh, in the aftermath needs to be disseminated, clinicians need to be trained in its use, and plans need to be made in order to prepare for how it will be uh, stewarded in the future. Because, as you know, uh, this is intended to be a living document. The pace of scientific advances are such that you can't just wait a decade or two to update things. You have to be prepared to do them because... We'll make changes when changes are, are needed. Exactly. When scientific research produces results that occasion changes, those need to be made. And then in addition, uh, as you know, we're going through a, a leadership transition. Uh, Dr. Jay Scully, who has led the APA for uh, more than a decade, uh, is retiring and we've uh, identified through a extensive search process uh, his worthy successor, Dr. Saul Levin. And so the transition is an important thing to make sure it goes smoothly. Um, and uh, we're very excited about this. And then, in addition, there's two things that are really highlighted as areas that the APA needs to place great emphasis on. Far and away, the most important is the health care reform process. Um, as you know, health care has become more costly. The country is concerned about the rising rate of health care expenditures, and this is driving a process, beginning with the Affordable Care Act, uh, to revise the way healthcare services are delivered and where they're financed. And uh, as a result, we, meaning the profession of psychiatry, led by the APA, needs to make sure that psychiatry, mental health care, is appropriately represented and positioned in this process. Um, this health care reform process will be transformative. It will change the way services are delivered. In that context, the roles that doctors and allied health providers, mental health providers, uh, what roles they play, um, how are services organized, do we have co-located mental health care, psychiatric care with primary care, do we have co-located primary care in uh, mental health programs that are treating the severe and the persistent mentally ill. Um, all of these things are really up for consideration. And then the payment schemes, you know, we talk about affordable uh, care, value-based purchasing, bundled payments, uh, capitation. So we need to make sure that psychiatrists and mental health providers are getting proper support in this context. So to do that, we've convened uh, a strategic action work group on health care reform. And it's been shared by Dr. Howard Goldman. It's comprised by uh, leading experts in our profession, members of the APA, with knowledge about healthcare systems, financing, services. But in addition, we've augmented that. We've augmented that by bringing in some of the leading people in healthcare policy and finance in the country to work with our APA members and then the permanent staff of the APA in um, the Division of Government Relations uh, to develop this policy and then to be able to be a voice in the debate that will be going on over the next several years about how healthcare, the healthcare delivery system is going to be reconfigured. In order to make sure that patients with psychiatric conditions 
get appropriate care. Absolutely, to make sure that they get their best care possible. And also that, in this context, that psychiatrists are playing the roles that they're best suited to play as you know, the most knowledgeable individuals to provide, and even if it's not directly providing, but at least in leading a team of uh, healthcare providers that is uh, treating patients with mental illness. I know you, another area that's important to you and to our organization and the field is how we educate the public. Right. Well, uh, you know, right now, medicine is changing in that patients are active participants in their own health care. And uh, because historically people have been less knowledgeable, less well informed about mental illness, about the nature of psychiatric medicine, about how to seek and what is good quality mental health care, um, there's an important job to be done to enhance public awareness and to do it through the media, through the traditional media, but also through the new social media. And the APA has a permanent staff in the Office of um, uh, Communications and Public Affairs. Uh, we want to augment that by um, utilizing expertise in communication strategies, public relations, um, and work with you, Jeff, as the chair of the council of um, public relations uh, and communications, but also as the editor of Psych News, um, to determine how can we really lift you know, mental illness out of the shadows, dispel the stigma, educate people, and, and also you know, change the way the media treats uh, mental illness so they're not just uh, publicizing it when there's some kind of terrible crime or they're not making a movie which uh, you know, exaggerates or demonizes uh, people with mental illness or, or the psychiatric profession. In order to reduce stigma and prejudice and hopefully allow more people to get the help and treatment that they need. Exactly. Finally, I know that you've come up with your theme for your presidential year, and I'd like to ask you to tell us what that is. Right, well, it was something that's interesting because uh, I had to think about what the theme was, and um, it really was a uh, crystallized just from what we were talking about, the issue of healthcare reform, which is gonna change practice, and the need for public education, which will change uh, perception and awareness. So the theme for the 2014 meeting, which will be in New York, um, is uh, changing practice and perception of mental illness. Very I'm important sorry, goal. Changing practice and perception of psychiatry and mental illness. Um, and then there's one other thing that I'd like to mention that uh, I really want to focus on in the coming year. That is um, the value the APA provides to its members. And the APA is a strong organization. It's the most effectively positioned organization in the field of mental health care and, and the psychiatric profession to represent our interests. Um, and it needs to uh, engage its membership, 36,000 strong, um, in the process of uh, communicating what it's doing, but also to get input and involve the members in its initiatives and its activities. And um, it's, it's something that historically has been done through components, through committees, through uh, councils, through different types of interaction. We'd like to sort of take that to the next step and have an active bilateral communication between the leadership, central office, district branches, and, and the membership. And I think in that way people will be, the members will be more in tune with what's happening and will be able to you know, contribute their views which will guide the leadership and the permanent staff and. Uh, conducting the business of the APA. Well, those are some important goals, and I want to wish you the very best of luck um, over the course of the next year and beyond. Thanks. Well, you'll Thank be you. right in there working on it. Good. Thanks.